welcome back to another edition of the Michigan Conservative Roundtable, Mac in the Morning Show. Today, I want to thank all of our subscribers, our recent ones especially. We beg you to share, like, and subscribe. So, on today's topic, obviously everyone knows by now that Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg has passed away at age 87 after her battle with several cancers. And uh, I have to say she was a tough old broad. I'll give her that, if nothing else. So the usual suspects were right out of the gate. Romney, Murkowski, and Collins. With their, we're not going to vote. And I want to pick on Lisa per, uh, Murkowski in particular, because she said, fair is fair. And that got me thinking, fair is fair. Lady, are you kidding me? What bubble do you live in? Fair is fair? The Democrats have already said they're going to litigate the election all the way through January 20th. And if they can, they want to do a military coup. They haven't said that, per, uh, but it's pretty. It's getting to be pretty well known. Uh, they want to let 16-year-olds vote. In California, they let, in New York, and in New York, they let people who aren't citizens of this country vote. Is that about fair? Is that fair as fair for you, Senator Murkowski? They assist people by who are destroying this country step by step with over a billion dollars in property damage over this summer. Is that fair, Ms. Murkowski? And uh, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi says she will use every arrow in her quiver to make sure that the president doesn't get to make this appointment. I didn't know that this was one damn bit the business of the House of Representatives, and least of all you, you old skank. People, Senator Murkowski, is it fair what they did to Justice Kavanaugh? How they slandered him? How they accused him of raping a, a, a girl who was clearly either delusional, a liar, or off her meds? And uh, Dr. Blasey Ford, who was no doctor at all, as a matter of fact, had no license to practice psychology in California. But that, what does that matter? All women must be believed, unless those women are accusing Joe Biden his misdealings, or Bill Clinton of having sex with 12-year-olds on Epstein Island, then it's a different story. Is that fair? I say it isn't. I pray to God the president appoints a woman, so I suppose they'll say that uh, she raped someone as well. I can't even imagine what story they'll come up with to slander. Democrat Party doesn't want this country. You have to understand that. They say they're going to do everything they can to overthrow uh, this president. I don't know what more you need to see, Senator Murkowski. I know you're a coward. I know you're a sniveling, sniveling little witch who's afraid of her own shadow and gets bullied by Diane Feinstein. But for once, for just for once in your life, stand up and do what's right. Same thing with you, Senator Collins. You're going to lose your seat in, uh, uh, in the next couple of months anyway, so you might as well do the right thing and be on the right side of history. And Romney... Well, you're just a punk-ass bitch, and I, you better stay out of the state of Michigan. That's all I can tell you. You're not welcome here anymore, Mr. Romney. You better stay out there in Utah, where you belong. So with that, we'll call this a wrap. I think, I think my rant is over. Some of it may have been incoherent. I don't know. But uh, that's what I have to say on this topic. I pray to God the President picks uh, a solid candidate that's a constitutionalist. If I had my pick, it would be Ted Cruz. So as we like to say on the Michigan Conservative Roundtable, be safe, watch your six, and don't try to unmute.